There's another one. I should catch that updraft. Whoa! I'm getting the hang of this. Another updraft. I should check the view. Love a windy day. Hey, Miles. I'm just getting to the raft. You on your way? Would have missed it. Who are babysitting? MJ got a tip yesterday that Scorpion's being moved to Ravencroft. Not enough resources for him since Sandman became his roommate. Scorpion can definitely throw a tantrum. I'll be there. just in time. Keep it moving, Gargan. Ready for the next one. Next one? Thought we were just babysitting Scorpion today. for fireworks. We gotta go. Stretched. Your head will make a fine trophy. Watch it! 
trying to get inside the ship. They want Scorpion and Lee. We gotta stop them. What do you even want with these guys? Seems like your club has plenty of members. You will see, and it will be glorious. Not liking the sound of that. Remember your training. I am training. Oh. They just keep coming. You insects should have stayed out of this. Common misconception. Spiders are not actually insects. But that's maybe beside the point right now. Keep fighting. Watch the web. Look out! Cover Spider-Man! Now there's a chicken. Reinforcements are here! Focus in! Can't let him get near the prisoners! this ship! Open fire! Trying to get out. 
Looking for civilians on the way. It's bad, man. What happened out there? Did those guards get to safety? Hello? No signal. Better hurry up. Whoa! It's getting worse out there. Scorpion's loose? I have to tell Spider-Man. I'll get you out! Stay calm! I'll find another way! Electrical access. Sounds promising. Oh, Pete's got eyes on Scorpion. These guys have no idea who they're letting out. You're still out there! Still here! Promise! Oh, come on, backup power. Be here. Sweet! of electricity will fry him alive. What happened? What'd you do? I need you to stay away from the water, okay? Drain the excess energy. Thanks a million kids. on Scorpion.
enemy in two. I'm after them now. Miles, do you think you can handle me? We can turn around right now. No, I got this. Go on. Are you sure? I can't let him near my family again. Not after what he did to my dad. I have to protect them. They need me, man. Nothing will happen to your family. Nothing. You got this. I'll be back soon. Just got this. all of them.
you know what you took from me? First responders are on site now, at least. Police are still fishing, but there's no sign of them. Any luck upriver? Nothing but debris. Who are those guys? Whoever they are, they're packing some serious tech. And now they got all that, plus Scorpion and Lee. Hey, whatever they're planning, we'll find them. We'll stop them. I saw Lee inside that ship. My powers. They... You think his energy got entangled with yours? I don't know, man. But it feels... volatile. Well, wherever Electric Blue came from, it saved the day back there. Hey. We'll put Lee back where he belongs. Don't leave me hanging. I'm trying to soak over here. Not on my watch. Come on. <laughs> You're too much, man. know that the bag banks use don't have big dollar signs on them? I know. I was disappointed. Hey, Unc, I'm back. So like I was saying, I was trying to give you space. Don't need it. Besides, we gotta settle some things. We do? See you soon, kid. Just go see him and get it over with, Mouse. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something tells me they're planning something big.
Danica, you are listening to the Danacast. Get this. Now the fastest growing podcast in New York. Hold on to your knickers, Jonah. Welcome to the crowd. For you new listeners, welcome. The Danacast is your spot for real takes on real news about real people. Did y'all hear about this train worker, Dennis, who single-handedly kept the trains running during the Sandman attack? The main track control booth got cut off by a power failure, and he had to patch in from his cell phone on a hotspot to keep the lines up. Thousands of people got evacuated to Queens and Brooklyn thanks to him. Dennis, we at Denicast salute you. Keep doing what you're doing. Some burglars. Here we go. Get it, Come on, never teach you not to steal. Eyes up! Spider Man, you always stop! I'll better think twice next time. We gotta do this with the mask on? Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Kid? Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but... Parole means Prowl is retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. You getting some? How did you... Hey, Miles. That Lee business? Don't be stupid. I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on? Our school, college, anyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some Prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code from the suit. Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Don't cheat. Take your time. Done. Not bad, kid. An 
another gate. Sweet. Can't pull it open from down here. You would have made a decent prowler. You should be seeing how to get inside now. Got it. You want to finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. Got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. Wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Miles. Me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con. Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Estaba ayudando Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. ¿Y cómo está él? Está trotando. Pues qué bueno. Mami. Te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, it's to be in. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out to the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. Miles, up there, remember? You go on your way? Oh, right. That's today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon. Hey, Pete, you ready to come by the foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, got to grab this call from NJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest-looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get the story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. was. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But 
I was gonna give him a tour, let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Attention. Harry, Please. this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... He got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment. But when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, Chief. I just checked in on the enemy. That data is not going to with the AI learning project during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? This is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were trained to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Can you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Yes! You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to Entomology. Standard, please come to the front desk. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow, I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. <laughs> Harry! A moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. I wonder 
wonder how it ended up here. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Do we really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. To middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Rigor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. So calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great, now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized, but ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Interesting. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course.
Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Go ahead. Swipe. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> One quick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Yeah. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? That's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? You guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there.
like one of Marco's memory crystals Miles told me about. I should check it out. Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong? Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man. We were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Littering? Come on, man. here. 